So, you know, we try to keep our series every week focused on the role of leaders and how do we give mm -hmm. leaders skills that can actually, you know, um, measurably improve their influence and the culture of their organization. As you think about the companies you work with, Gisela, what, what would you leave us with in terms of the role that a leader plays when it comes to communicating vision, managing process change? What, what are some of the, as you think about the greatest leaders you've seen, what are some of the defining attributes that you see in them that you might inspire our audience with? Yeah, so um, several leaders come to mind. And um, I really, um, the leaders that I have seen being really successful understand that they cannot uh, drive the change or make the change happen alone. That they need to get a team of people involved, that they need, we call it a design team or a change team. And that they need to involve uh, uh, people from across the organization, across levels and functions, as I said, um, uh, in, in, a, in a thoughtful way. And um, yeah, so that's the that's what is primarily stands out to me. Uh, but one one more thing that comes to mind right now is that it's very helpful for the leader of change to also get support. You know, they might they might appreciate uh, uh, receiving coaching around the issues that they are facing. We we talk about this coaching the leader of change because their that territory for them is also not something that uh, they necessarily are very comfortable in or understand. So, so for us to have that kind of a relationship with the leader is, can make this, power, this work very, very powerful. 